Hi team and family. It is an incredible privilege to present our next educational champion recipient, Katherine Campbell of Groves Academy. The best and highest praise that I can give Katherine is that she is a true advocate of education equity. But rather than use my own words, I'm gonna use the words in this letter of commendation written from a dear friend and supporter of Catherine's work. Dear Catherine, it is with great enthusiasm and admiration that I commend your work bringing the Groves Literacy Framework to schools throughout Minneapolis and St. Paul. Schools that have followed this program have seen student reading scores improve measurably. This is a testimony to your diligence and careful training of both coaches and teachers in the 30 schools where the program takes place. Your excellent and frequent follow-up is the final piece that guarantees the success. Your fine leadership skills have been evident from the birth of the program to and through its implementation. As a result, the last five years, you and your team have had an incredible impact on children across Minneapolis and St. Paul. As the world knows, reading is the irreplaceable skill that is the foundation of all careers and the basis of being a good participating citizen. What wonderful work you do. We're so lucky to have your reading leadership. Congratulations and keep up the good work with many years of admiration and affection. Uh, with that, Catherine, thank you so much and congratulations. I'm honored to be recognized as a champion of education by KIPP Minnesota. There are so many people that are a part of this recognition from the teachers and leaders at KIPP to the philanthropic organizations that support this work and to the Groves coaches, specifically Heidi Alford and Cheryl Alexander, who work with KIPP teachers to ensure that all K through three students are learning to read. We're facing a literacy crisis in our nation and great state. We know that children who do not read proficiently by the end of third grade are four times more likely to leave school without a diploma. Reading is a foundational skill. All of the expertise that we've developed over the last almost 50 years at Groves Academy is based on the science of reading. We take that same expertise and in literacy instruction out to all learners in classrooms throughout the city through literacy partnerships with schools. Our partnership with KIPP over the last two years has shown that by working together, we can make a difference in the reading outcomes of these students using the Groves Literacy Framework. At KIPP, through our partnership, a curriculum that provides explicit and systematic instruction in reading and spelling is used in all kindergarten through third grade classrooms. Students are assessed on their oral reading fluency throughout the year. Then the results of the fluency assessments are used to determine which students need additional intervention, what type, and how often. In addition, each KIPP teacher works with a Groves coach 30 minutes a week in their classroom as well as attends professional development meetings on literacy topics on a monthly basis presented by their Groves coach. Our reading fluency data this year from just September to January showed us that first grade had a 22% drop in the number of students in the high risk category. Nationally, first grade students that struggle have an average expected growth in fluency between 33 and 50% from fall to winter. KIPP's first grade students demonstrated average growth between 60 and 70% from fall to winter testing dates. We're excited to be adding KIPP Legacy Primary to our list of partner schools for next year. Being a strong reader unlocks so much potential in students. Research tells us that if good literacy instruction is taught in all primary grade classrooms, only 10% of students might struggle. Groves' vision is to change the way our nation is taught, one student, one teacher, one school at a time. We want to provide good liter literacy instruction to all learners, no matter what their zip code. It's our civic duty to close this Minnesota literacy achievement gap so that all Minnesota children are productive members of our future workforce, working at their full potential. Thank you.